Hi my angels, I hope you guys are all well. I thought I'd pick up my vlogging camera this weekend because we're doing some exciting stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's like late afternoon, early evening at the moment, but I've spent most of today creating the most epic Zoom family quiz ever. I'm actually gonna see if there's any way I can leave some sort of link for it in the description box because I spent forever trying to find questions and I've tried to make it like as fun as possible. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what it looks like because I'm so freaking proud. I cannot remember the last time I used PowerPoint but I feel like I've done such a good job. Um, but let me show you guys a little sneak peek of what it's all about. So here we have the Epic Family Quiz 2020. I feel like I need to do part one because I wanna do parts of this. But these are all the categories that I have on here um, and then it goes straight into the first category so general knowledge what's the year 2020 in no roman numerals how many lines are there on the london underground and it basically just keeps going um there's obviously like a whole bunch of different questions on here i'm gonna scroll down here so you guys can see just how many uh, <laughs> pages there are i am so excited so my husband and i are actually the quiz masters and i thought i would do a little bit of a get ready with me because um i feel like i just want to paint my face a little bit and be all ready for the quiz tonight so let's go do that first so i want to do something quite simple but glowy and i thought i'd do my skincare first and i'm going to go in first with the fresh vitamin nectar glow juice antioxidant face serum all over my face so for foundation, I'm loving this combination at the moment, which is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 3N1, mixed in with the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation in the shade Golden Natural. I've just bounced that all over my face using my damp beauty blender, and I just love the finish of it. You can still see my freckles peeking through, but it just gives me this really nice, naturally glowy finish, which I'm loving at the moment. So for concealer, I'm gonna use my trusty Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. This is in the shade Paul Porcelain. I've been doing this new thing where I put a little bit of the concealer kind of like just in the inner parts of my eyes and then I'll take a little bit on the outer parts like this and then a little bit of a line right there and then whatever's left on my little applicator on my chin and my forehead and then when I blend I always take it from the outer corner inside and then I blend up along the sides of my nose and then back out and I find that by doing this it really kind of helps brighten that whole area and then I just make sure the outer bit is nice and diffused out like that and I feel like this makes a massive massive difference and you also end up using less product as well you can obviously go in with a little bit more but I feel like I'm going to keep it just that I'm just going to blend out the other under eye and the rest of the concealer that's on my face before we move on to setting it in place and then I'm just going to take a little bit of that foundation into my inner corners of my eyes like this because I feel like I'm getting a little bit of darkness there the older I've gotten so but I'd add that little bit in there and then just make sure it's nice and blended I generally don't actually like to put any concealer or anything on my eyelids because my eyelids gets really greasy and oily throughout the day and then I end up getting that weird line on them so I'm gonna leave them all bare. So I'm going to leave them bare. So it's going to look like that we've got a little bit of eyeshadow on when we haven't really. Um, now I'm going to I'm going to take my hourglass setting powder and I'm going to set the areas where I applied all that concealer. The bronzer that I'm going to use is something that I'm really, really excited about. I mentioned this on my Instagram stories as well. It is the NARS Laguna Matte Bronzer. I love a good matte bronzer it's my favorite type of bronzer and i'm just going to get this onto the usual areas and this is super pigmented so you literally just need the tiniest tiniest amount and it's going to make it look like i've been on holiday i'm going to add a little bit on my nose to make it look like i've been hit by the sun getting some nars orgasm blush onto my cheeks and then again, I look on my nose as well. I feel like this just gives a really nice, youthful look. I just love how glowy my skin is looking. Okay, I'm just going over as well. The NARS blush has got a bit of a like gold tint to it. So it's adding to the glow. We like that. Um, I'm going to actually use my favourite highlighter at the moment, which is the Becca Ignite highlighters. These are actually liquid highlighters. You can kind of use them all over your body, but I've been using them on my cheeks. And it literally makes me look like I'm glowing from within. I haven't actually tried this with no makeup on. 
And I kind of feel like I want to because I feel like this will look incredible. This is in the shade Creativity. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. Get it onto my beauty blender and then I'm gonna start applying that up into my brow as well. And this like melts in to your foundation. So I can just imagine what it's going to do with like no foundation on my skin. But I don't know whether you guys can tell. Oh, it just looks so, so, so pretty. It also smells so nice. I've very quickly filled my brows in. I used my usual combo of the Benefit Precisely My Brow and the 24 Hour Brow Setter. I'm gonna move on to my lashes and I'm using the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift to get this all up in there. Oh, I just love the effect of it. It's insane. <laughs> So brows and mascara is all done. I have left my lower lashes empty. I've been doing that a lot recently. I just feel like it gives me such a more like youthful at home look rather than being like too glam, if you know what I mean. So um, I'm gonna leave it as that. I feel like I definitely need to put a little bit of hairspray and sort my hair out at the end of this, but we'll do that in a second. I'm gonna just do my lipstick. Where did I put you? I think I'm just gonna do gloss. So I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. And I feel like this is just going to be easy for the Zoom call. It's not going to be anything much. I feel like that's my makeup pretty much done. Actually, I'm just going to get a little bit more of a glow stitch going on. A little bit of Tarcha Dewy Skin Mist. Ta-da! So this is literally the kind of makeup that I've been wearing a lot. Like, even on my Instagram stories, this is, like, my pretty much, like, go-to makeup. I actually did a little Insta story tutorial thing. And I used a lot of the similar products. So I thought I'd share it on here as well. I feel like now... I want to sort my hair out. So I wanted to show you guys um, what I've been doing. Especially when I want to feel like I've, like got ready for something if you know what I mean so I did it for date night a few weeks ago when me and my husband we cooked like date night dinner together and it was really really cute and I don't know I just kind of want to feel a bit more put together and obviously I've not been able to get my roots done and I don't know whether you guys can see but here I have this big old patch of silver hairs so I am going to spray some of this on there this is the L'Oreal Paris Magic Retouch and it is an instant root concealer spray and I've used this for years It's perfect for things like zoom meetings if you've got work meetings from home and you just want to feel a bit more put together It's the perfect thing to do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I do it And it's so easy. I generally put my hand like this so it doesn't get onto my uh, makeup But I literally shake the can And spray it into my hair and it's as simple as that all my silvers have gone away. I'm going to actually spray a little bit on this side as well because it can work as a bit of a uh, hairline sorter out as well. I've actually got loads of silver hairs here. So I'm going to spray this on. And just like that, they're all gone. <laughs> a little bit to this side as well because I've uh, got a little bit of a patchy situation going on there. And a little bit this round here too. I like my hairline not to look too rounded. I want it to look quite natural. Short bursts like that. And it makes me look like I've got thicker hair and no silver hairs. <laughs> and this is really good if you want to touch up your hair at home when you're not able to get to the hairdressers because Nikki, who is my hairdresser, lives um, like an hour away from me and um, I'm really bad. I generally only get my hair colored maybe twice a year. <laughs> so um, I feel like I do this kind of stuff a lot, especially when I've got like events and things like that to go to. So I thought I'd quickly show you that. But also in case you're wondering, the color that I like to use is dark brown. It's a little bit lighter than my natural color hair, but I feel like it just makes everything blend in really nicely. I do want to actually go in with a little bit of the mascara and just make sure I've got all the little roots at the front. I don't want it to look like I've missed any areas up. And that is it. Easy peasy. I feel like I am all ready. I think now I'm just going to double check the quiz that I've done to make sure there's like no spelling mistakes and like everything is looking perfect. Also, one thing I want to mention is what we had for dinner. So we had Bombay sandwiches for dinner and I actually had one yesterday which I'm going to try and show you guys because it was so 
epic. I followed Sanjana Feast's recipe for it. I'm going to leave all of the details below because she put a moist maker in it. Now, if anyone watches Friends, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. But she had her own moist maker that she created to put in between the sandwich. And that just took it to a whole different level. So I'm going to share with you what my Bombay sandwich looked like. And I'll also link the recipe as well as Sanjana's blog and her Instagram below because you have to check her out. Her food is so good. And I feel like it just fills that like Guju lover of food in me. So I just thought I'd have to put that out there because um, it was so epic and I still can't stop thinking about it. And the fact that I've had it two dinners in a row, like I could have it every day and that's saying something. <laughs> I just checked the entire 94 pages, 93 pages, sorry, of the family quiz document and everything is good to go. But now I feel like I'm having like a bit of a hair withdrawal situation going on. I haven't had my hair coloured in so long and I feel like doing something, not like permanent, but like semi-permanent, something that's going to wash out. And I want to show you guys something really, really cool because I would love for you guys to help me out here. Hopefully I'm not going crazy, <laughs> but let me just show you what I'm talking about. On the L'Oreal Paris UK website, there's this thing called Find Your Colour. If you scroll down and click on here, try your color. There's a full on virtual hair color try on thing. So I'm gonna show you what uh, I'm thinking of doing and you guys can let me know in the comments if I should go for it and if I should vlog it. I'm gonna go for the semi permanent so it'll wash out in a few goes. And then if you click on it there, here she is. <laughs> Obviously this is a uh, not my real hair but I can basically go on here and choose different colors and see what my hair would look like and I'm kind of toying between this really dark like purpley tone or like this really dark blue I don't know like I just want to do something a little bit fun and a little bit different I'm not 100% sure on the color yet but would you guys like me oh, okay maybe I would go for this like oh my god that is such a beautiful color and because I've got um like blonde bits in my hair it should um work really well in those areas obviously it won't completely change the color of like my darker natural hair but the hair where I've got it colored it should change the color and it's not permanent so it will wash out but I'm thinking to give it a go. <laughs> I'll leave the link of this in the uh, description box in case anyone else wants to try it out. But I've been on here and I'm like, I just don't know which colour to go for. Um, but I'm very excited. So I feel like I didn't actually tell you guys how the Zoom quiz went. It went really, really well. My brother-in-law won, but we're going to plan another one for in like the next couple of weeks, which would be really, really exciting. We were up till so late and today it's the next day and we had some bail for lunch, which is probably one of my favorite things to eat ever. And now I'm making some duffins, which is basically like if a muffin was to marry a donut. <laughs> it sounds really weird, but it tastes incredible and this recipe in itself is almost vegan you can swap out the like butter and chocolate and things like that for vegan options um, I'm just using what we've got in the fridge we've actually run out of our almond milk so I'm just using normal milk um, but I'm gonna start mixing everything together because this is so easy to make by the way this recipe is not mine this is Karisha's recipe who's a good friend of mine she basically runs an incredible cake company and does loads of amazing amazing wedding cakes birthday cakes any cake you can imagine she can make and her her recipes are just, there's something else. I'm gonna leave the details of her Instagram and everything in the info box below so you guys can watch her make this. Um, she used um, egg in this recipe, but she gave me the substitute which I'm gonna add instead. So we're just gonna start making this because um, me and my husband, we literally cannot wait. We've been looking forward to this day since the last time we had duffins. <laughs> so I'm gonna start mixing and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm adding in here. So I don't remember the exact measurements of everything, but like I said, I'll link everything below, but I'm adding some oil. Next up, the milk. Vanilla essence. And now for the egg substitute, Carisha told me that I could add 50 ml of condensed milk, but I also generally use a mixture of like apple cider vinegar and baking soda, so I'm gonna add both, because I added both last time and they worked out really, really fluffy and big and spongy. So I'm adding in the condensed milk now. And now my little egg substitute, which is apple cider vinegar and baking soda into the mix and this like fizzes up. These are all the wet ingredients in here and I'm gonna give it a whisk. So 
so it's all whisked up and it's looking nice and bubbly. And I'm gonna add in the dry ingredients, which is sugar and self-raising flour. Look at me being a baker. <laughs> gonna give it another whisk. This is what my batter is looking like. And it smells so good. <laughs> now it's time to get the uh, duffins into their little, what are they called? I'm like so bad at this, their little cupcake tin things. We have Ferrero Rochers in the fridge and I was like, I'm gonna add these inside my duffins, why not? Usually um, in the past when I've made these, I've added jam or chocolate chips in here. But um, because we had these in the fridge, I was like, why not? So you can grease these, but I'm gonna be lazy and I'm gonna add, oh. Gad, why is not fitting? Okay, maybe I will boost them. All right, I'm just gonna very quickly grease the pan. Then I'm gonna use like a tablespoon-ish of the batter and I'm gonna shove it into the bottom of each pan. In here, I've got all my Ferrero Rochers and the middle one I put some jam in because I didn't have enough, but I'm gonna get the tops on now. This tray is done and I'm gonna get another tray ready with these, I think, because I don't have any more of these like cupcake trays. are ready to go in the oven. Oh wait, the oven's not ready yet. Right, the oven is ready and these are definitely going in this time. <laughs> okay, the last time I made these, I'm not gonna lie, they turned out so big. Like I actually thought they were gonna overflow, so I really hope it doesn't happen. I feel like the top ones, the Ferrero Rocher ones, are gonna be huge now that I think of it. Oh my God, they are huge. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to like cut <laughs> around them <laughs> because they are literally that big. Oh my god, there's still 15 minutes left and they're huge. Oh my god, this is an actual duff and fail, guys. I'm so sorry. I mean, the bottom ones are quite right, it's just these top ones that are. They're like the killer duffins. Oh my jeez, <laughs> they're huge. <laughs> we have a duffin disaster. I don't know what I did this time around. They're basically stuck in here. The base will not even come out in one go. And now we have no Ferrero Rochers left. <laughs> even the ones with jam, they're not opening. <laughs> this literally makes me so sad, guys. I'm so excited to eat these. <laughs> now I have no idea what to do. Now I don't know what else to bake. So because we had a late lunch, I thought, oh, I'll do some baking and we'll have that as like an early dinner. So what? Vex just goes to me, I'm assuming you're not gonna put this part of the vlog up. And I was like, yeah, this is like real life. Like my baking is ruined. And I just had a little freak out on WhatsApp and messaged my friend whose recipe I followed. Well, clearly I didn't follow properly. And I was like, I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> like this is literally not how they're supposed to turn out. Like, look at this. They're stuck in here. Look, it's not even cooked properly, guys, look. I'm gonna insert a picture, actually, so you guys can see what my first batch looked like, because they tasted amazing. And I did exactly the same thing, but I feel like I must have used normal flour, and in this I used self-raising flour. This has been a big mess of fail. But if you got to this part of the vlog, then congratulations, <laughs> you made it this far. <laughs> it's a, like, I actually think it's gonna be painful for me to edit this portion of the vlog because I was so impressed with myself and so like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make duffins. And then they turned into killer duffins and now they've turned into mush. Anyways, I'm gonna, I feel like I need to end the vlog here. I need to go and do something to relax. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I'm sending all the love and light in my heart to you guys and hopefully I'll see you guys all in my next video.